I mean, if you take just the circular economy um, aspect, you know, so some research was done um, and it was found that GCC cities um, can not necessarily save but generate $138 billion um, of economic activity um, between 2020 and 2030, so in a 10-year cycle, by adopting circular economy principles because it creates economic opportunities. I mean, the, the, the concept, um, it's not a new concept, but it's, I guess it's accelerated very quickly, as you, as you say. Um, it's breaking away from the sort of um, take, make, waste model um, in the economy, where you take resources, you utilize them for something, and then you dispose them, um, to turn it into a circular nature, uh, where you're you know, extracting resources and then keeping, that in, keeping them in the economic cycle um, in perpetuity or for as long as, uh, as, as practical. Last week we hit World Overshoot Day, which is the, basically for, for 2019 the amount of resource that we're able to utilise from the planet. We've already exhausted the year's supply of it, so we re really need to change the model um, to, to move into sort of a sustainable economy. In Dubai, for instance, 80% of the electricity is used, used in buildings. So that's why we make, take a concerted focus on sort of electricity consumption in buildings and trying to promote energy efficiency and net zero practices. We already have examples of net zero buildings in the UAE. Um, Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center, for example, uh, is a net zero energy building built to, to passive house standards. Um, and there are um, a number of others. So, for example, in Malta, there's an eco villa, which is, you know, for Net Zero, um, D was building its, its new headquarters, its new office building, which will be one of the largest Net Zero buildings in the world. So, taking Dubai as the example, um, under the Dubai Supreme Count of Energy, there's there's the Dubai Integrated Energy Strategy, um, and there's the Dubai Clean Energy Strategy, which is setting targets for uh, the sustainable use use of, of energy and water. I think challenges is is maybe, um, and this is globally, I think is the pace of adoption. I think it's we really need to accelerate uh, the deployment. I think the the technology is there. I think the the capacity and capability in, in is there in, in in all of the industries with the the expertise, um, and the financial viability is there. It makes financial sense when you look at you know the paybacks and the economic savings and the opportunities. It's it's well documented. So I guess it's. The challenge, and I guess it's something that we take on as a, as a mandate, is to be able to accelerate the adoption of these sort of circular economy um, and sustainable um, approaches.